Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about how to use spirit blue auger to conduct a lipase test. So spirit blue auger is a differential medium, meaning it's like a, a medium that you can use to grow bacteria in the laboratory. Differential because it allows you to distinguish between two different types of bacteria as we will see. But to understand this, first we need to talk a little bit about triglycerides. So triglycerides are a kind of lipid macromolecule uh, that can be used as an energy source. Um, and also as a source of carbon. Um, as long as they can be broken down. This right here is kind of a generic triglyceride. So it's composed of two major things. There is a glycerol molecule on there that has reacted and sterified with three fatty acids. And those are those, these long tails right here. And so this is what a triglyceride looks like. Um, we as humans eat, eat food with triglycerides all the time and break it down and can use this as a source of energy by breaking down these bonds that releases energy and as a carbon source because these long tails that I've drawn right here are long hydrocarbon chains, so very carbon rich in there. So these can be broken down by an enzyme called lipase. So lipase or lipase, it breaks down lipids. And then, now we're thinking about this from the point of view of bacteria, okay? Because bacteria can do this too. Um, certainly humans break down triglycerides all the time. Some bacteria can do this also because they have lipase and some bacteria cannot do this because they lack lipase. So from the point of view of the bacteria, they can secrete this lipase enzyme if they have the gene for it to break down triglycerides and then the individual components, like the glycerol and the fatty acids, those can actually then cross the bacterial cell wall. And once they have crossed the cell wall, they can be used. They can enter glycolysis or enter the Krebs cycle, um, depending on which one we're talking about here. And they can then be used to um, extract energy. So they can then be used as an energy source in the process of aerobic respiration. So now let's talk a little bit more about the spirit blue auger. Bacteria can be either lipase positive, meaning they have this enzyme, so they can break down triglycerides and use them for energy and carbon. Um, an example of a lipase positive bacterium would be Bacillus subtilis. Bacteria can also be lipase negative, meaning that they do not have lipase and they cannot break down this thing and use it for energy and carbon. An example of a lipase negative bacterium would be Salmonella typhimurium. Now let's talk about the spirit blue auger. It has a dye in it called spirit blue dye, which makes it blue and that is our indicator, meaning that it's the spirit blue dye is a change to the spirit blue dye that is going to tell us whether lipase is present or not. There's also some kind of emulsified lipid. This is something like um, corn oil or um, olive oil, just some source that's very rich in triglycerides. <clears throat> and then there's going to be auger. And remember, auger is just a solidifying agent. So it keeps the, the media solid instead of liquid, and then the bacteria can grow on there. And so um, the, the, the method for a lipase test is to use spirit blue auger, and then to do what I'd like to say are our three I's. So first, inoculate. So you inoculate with the test bacteria, and that means just taking a loop, getting some of your test bacteria, and then streaking it down the plate. So maybe we do this with um, species A, and we do this with species B. So we've got two streaks on there, two different types of bacteria that we're testing. So that's the inoculation. 
The second I, you can probably guess, is incubate. So incubate at you know roughly 30, 35 degrees to 37 degrees, somewhere in that little window for 24 hours. Then you come back and our third eye is identify. And this is where you're just going to observe the plate to see what happened. Specifically, you're looking for the presence of halos around the streak. So if you come back and the first streak that you did for we'll say bacterial species A, maybe it looks like this. So you've got a halo around it. And that is because they have been able to break down the triglycerides and that results in a change to the spirit blue dye, that indicator, that results in this clearing halo. So where you see a halo, that indicates that that species is lipase positive. So lipase positive, meaning that it has lipase, it can break this down, that's why you get a halo. If you're interested in learning um, from some of my other videos, you can check out videos that I have on aerobic respiration that will tell you all about glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. You can also check out a different video that is specifically aerobic respiration in bacteria, which tells you a little bit more about how bacteria um, have slightly different processes that contribute uh, and enable their aerobic respiration. I also have um, more videos than I can count on different kinds of auger and different kinds of bacterial tests using kind of differential augers to determine, to, to um, identify specific strains or to separate different strains. So please check out some of those if you are interested and thank you for watching Biology Professor.